The protests in Iran are now in their third months, but this week they have taken a definitive turn. Protesters are now expressing their anger against the regime in violent ways. Just look at this. This is the old home of Ayatollah Khomeini, the first supreme leader of the Islamic Revolution of Iran. Reports claim angry protesters attack Khomeini's home with petrol bombs. They set it on fire. Take a look. Yes, violence is escalating on the streets of Iran. The protests are intensifying. The crackdown by the regime is becoming more brutal. So where is the violent face-off headed? This is our top focus on Gravitas tonight. Let's begin. Like I said, the protests are intensifying. This week, Iranians went on strike in several cities. They were commemorating the protests in 2019, better known as Bloody November. They happened over fuel prices. Again, these were nationwide protests. But the Iranian regime had managed to crush them. But not this time. The regime has unleashed its anger in recent weeks. But they have failed to put an end to these protests. Let's now take a look at some more pictures. You may have seen these earlier. These are Tehran's metro stations. They have turned into protest sites. Iranian security forces opened fire on protesters right here. This is what the protesters have endured. I have some numbers. As many as 16,000 people have been arrested. And at least 362 protesters have been killed so far. This includes 56 children. Five people died in the southwestern city of Ize alone. Some reports claim two boys were shot dead by security forces. De their deaths have become the latest rallying cry for some protesters. The Iranian state media has described these shootings as a terrorist attack. They put out a video. Take a look. There's more. Let's now take a look at these pictures carefully. There is a motorbike driving past the pedestrians. And right at that moment, gunshots were heard. The Iranian press calls these shooters terrorists, but the opposition rejects that charge. There are claims that these shooters were part of the Iranian security establishment. Now, we haven't been able to independently verify this, but here is what we can say for sure. The Iranian regime is struggling to deal with a surge in protests. The protesters are targeting the Ayatollahs directly. Now look at this video. This year is the year of blood Sayyid Ali will be toppled. That's what the protesters were apparently saying. They were referring to Iran's current supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Western powers are also putting pressure on Iran. Yesterday, the United States announced a fresh round of sanctions. They target Iranian petrochemical sales. Sanctions have been imposed over a dozen companies. They are based in China, Hong Kong and the UAE. Why were these companies sanctioned? because they were allegedly facilitating the sale of Iranian petroleum products. Make no mistake about this, a revolution is brewing in Iran. What began as a protest against the headscarf has now become a fight for human rights, a fight for free speech and freedom of expression of movement. But can these protests topple the regime? We don't know that yet. 
but it is clear. The Iranian leadership is facing its biggest challenge yet.